Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And my attitude is a little stank right now. So let me just get this off my chest, and then we're going to talk about Lanethia Leaks. Okay, so I just received an email from AT&T talking about they're going to add a balance of three seventy seven dollars and some change to my account because I didn't return my iPhone XR. You know, I, had, I was eligible for an upgrade to the new iPhone. The day I got this iPhone in the mail, is the day that I returned that phone. And how I know and how I remember is because I didn't have service on this phone. For some, for whatever reason, when everything has, when I did the switch over, you know how you sit your phones right beside each other, your contact information goes to the new phone, I, I couldn't get service. So I had to go to a location. So I went to the location with the new phone and my phone at the time. Went inside. Some guy named Zay or Zach, something like that, he fixed the problem. He saw I had my phone. I told him that he asked me what, what was I doing with that phone. Did I need a case for it or something like that? No, this is the old phone. I don't need this phone. I was like, I have to return this phone. He was like, oh, you can do the return here. I said, oh, I can? He said, yeah. So I gave him the phone. He did the return. And that was the end of it. Then I received an email I'm like, what? So I call up to the location and I say, a girl answers the phone. I said, hello. Um, I was calling because I just received an email saying that um, I was going to be charged almost $400 for not returning my old iPhone when I did my upgrade. I said, I remember coming to this location and I spoke and I, um, the sales representative that fixed my situation was um, some guy named Zay, Zach. I can't remember his name. I just remember started with a Z because I remember looking at his name tag. She said, just a minute. Let me get him for you. He got on the phone. He said, hello, how can I help you? I said, hello. I was like, yes. I, said, I was calling because I just received an email saying that I didn't return my cell phone and I handed my cell phone to you. And they're, trying, they're saying that, I, that now that I owe them almost $400. He was like, you returned the cell phone? Then he started asking me something like, he said, so you returned the cell phone to, to me? Yes, I handed my cell phone to you. I said, because I did not have internet service when I got my, I didn't have service on my new phone. So I had to come to the store and you rectified the problem. So he says, um, was it was it a return? Was it, was it, look, I, look, all I know is when I did this upgrade, they told me that I had to return that cell phone uh, via mail or to a store. I was already at the store. You did the return for me. He was like, okay, um, well, do you think you can come back tomorrow when the manager manager's here? I'm out of town. I'll come back on Thursday. Okay, well, can you come on Thursday? Yeah, I can. Because, bitch, I already know what you probably did. You probably took that phone and probably sold it on the streets like a lot of sales, asso like a lot of sales associates do. Don't ask me how I know because I ain't never worked at AT&T. But I know a lot of those sales associates, when we, turn, when we return our cell phones, they get the cell phones and go sell them on the street. And that's more than likely probably what his trifling ass did. Let's talk about Lanethia. <laughs> so, Nene. <laughs> Y'all know Nene? <laughs> of Real Housewives of Atlanta? Um, so basically Nene just took another L and this is a problem, right? So basically they're saying that Nene, uh, Nene Leak's team, um, supposedly dropped her. Now Nene came out today and said that that's not true. Let me bring up the tweets that she tweeted out yesterday and then we can go further into this. So yesterday Nene tweeted out this. You can't turn on your teammate and get away with this. At Stephen Grossman, hashtag Daryl Miller, hashtag Foxworth's child, suppression, retaliation, discrimination, unequal pay, devaluation against black women is real. It's painful and it hurts. I will fight for all women's rights. P.S. Fix it. Sorry about my typos. I don't tweet about the show, you lying, because when the Real Housewives of Atlanta new season came on and the ratings were not high, I remember I saw with my own eyes how you 
sent out a um, subliminal tweet about um, the ratings or something like that. But Nene, you did tweet about the show. So stop lying, girl. Um, I do not watch the show. I don't know if she watches the show, but I damn sure know that she tweeted about the show. I don't talk about the show, which is a lie because you tweeted about the show. I don't talk about the girls, which is a lie because you just talked about Portia the other day talking about they were paying poor. Nene be lying. You literally just talked about Portia being scared to speak up because she was going to lose her check. And how if the other girls didn't start speaking up, you was going to start calling out names. You just said this the other day, Nene. Anyways, my concern is the treatment and abuse behind the scenes that you do not see. Please don't make fun of that. It's real painful and it's happening. I have numerous emails, text messages, Real Housewives of Atlanta group text, voice, record, voice recording that go back years. <laughs> she put four S's. I never got rid of anything. Fix your dirty work. Being being a racist is so yesterday. I keep telling y'all that Nene Leaks reminds me of Donald Trump. And what I mean by that is she likes to play this, this game of the, like this guessing game. Like I'm going to throw something out there and if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Girl, she always talking about she got something, but girl, we haven't seen it. Now, I thought about this too. Nene Leaks could be pulling one of those. I remember I saw that movie about Fox um, I was on my way from, I saw it on Delta Airlines or somewhere. Um, Bombshell, Blonde, Bombshell, it was kind of like, I don't think it, had, I don't think it was like, I think it was like a fictional movie, but they based it on like stuff that happened at Fox, like Megyn Kelly and all that stuff. Um, did I say that right? I don't think it was, they didn't say it was a biopic or anything like that. Anyways, girl, it was a movie. And, um, girl, I'm worked up about that AT&T bill, girl. I know for a fact I returned that phone, girl. This girl's got me messed up. I'm telling you, I know what that boy did. I know he took that phone and probably went and sold it. Anyways, um, so anyways, girl, I'm all off. Girl, let me calm down, y'all. Let me drink, let me drink some of this water, girl. I need me a drink. I'm about to go, I'm, I'm about to go drink. That's what I'm about to, I'm about to wash my ass and go drink. But anyways, and I remember one of the women, she just was, she was basically building her case. Like everything that they said they didn't do, she had evidence to say that they did do it. So when it all hit, it was just like a big boom, a bombshell. Like, oh, this bitch was telling the truth the whole time. So Nene could be doing that, right? Nene could be building up a case so when she do drop this bombshell it's like bitch i told y'all hoes i'ma have to be the first one to eat crow that day as of right now this is how i look at this nene leaks lanethia leaks situation i know that we are in a time of protect black women and believe women and you know equal pay for women and women should get paid you know, pay with the, what they're due. But when I look at Nene, and when I look at Nene's behavior at work, Nene should have been fired a long time ago. Nene has gotten by for probably the last five seasons with doing the bare minimum. This last season, the bitch literally left work. Like she literally closed her laptop and left work. Anywhere else, if you leave work in the middle of your shift, girl, you're going to come back and your door code not going to work. That employer ID number that you use to clock in, it's not going to clock in. Matter of fact, HR more than likely going to meet you at the door with your shit. We've seen Nene Leaks come to reunions. Now, we have to look at it like, this is how I look at it. You don't have to look like look at it like shit. I look at it like this is a reality show. These girls sign up to do a job. They know that we have. they have to entertain the people. I remember even watching Candy's uh, speak on it with Kenya. 
And even Candy and Kenya were like, this girl, I can't remember the exact words that they used, but in a nutshell, they were like, they were pissed off when Nene left the reunion because like they said, this is a show. And girl, you said you was going to come and read me. Like this is what Kenya was saying. Girl, you said you was going to come and read me. So girl, read me. We can't do a show. We can't give the people what they want, Nene, if you closing your laptop. So these girls know at the end of the day, that they have to put on a show. And it's hard to put on a show when everybody's not carrying their weight. I have seen Nene curse out producers. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Or get the fuck out of my face. Or whatever she told that man in Greece. And you know what people who love Nene said? Oh, Nene, girl, you better get the girls together. You better get... Girl, she's cursing at someone at work. Not not one of her, not one of the girls who she could get away with that with, but she's cursing out, and they're showing this on film. They're, they're letting us know this is how Nene behaves at work. We've seen Nene come to reunions and just sit there. You right, I'm wrong. You right, I'm wrong. Okay, I, I don't have nothing to say. And I know a lot of people are going to say that Bravo built this monster, and they probably did. But for Nene, for y'all to act like Nene has not been well compensated by Bravo, Nene would not have the lifestyle that she lives it was if it wasn't for those Bravo checks. While, yes, Bravo has made a lot of money off Nene, Nene has made some money too. Nene not living that lifestyle because of that goddamn boutique that she got. Nene not living that lifestyle because of those council shows that she was on, right? Nene are not living that lifestyle because of them V-neck shirts that she sell. Nene is living that lifestyle because of that because of that Bravo check that she was receiving. Let's be very clear. Are there some problems at, at Bravo that could probably be worked out? Yes, I believe so. I think that I think that I don't think there's any there may be a few people, but I think that the majority of people would voice that there are problems and issues that could be fixed at their job. Whether it was racism, whether it was, you know, pay or whatever. I know at my job, bitch, just a few years ago, two, girl, I, girl, quiet is good not to put, I, I, you know, I try, I try not to talk about my job on here, but girl, I'll just say this much. About three years ago, my whole management team got fired. Every single one of them. Well, two of them. One of them kind of, they pushed out the dough. But, yes. So there are things at folks' jobs where everything is not going to be 100%. So, do I believe Nene when, they, when she may say that there was racism going on? Probably so. Sexism, all that. Probably so. But did you experience that, Nene? Nene, girl, you literally got online calling your boss or one of your bosses a cokehead and a racist. Andy Cohen. Do I believe that Andy Cohen do coke? Hell yeah, I been said that. <laughs> I been said I think Candy, uh, Andy do that white girl. Ben said she do that sugar. I been said she had sugar boogers around her nose. Ben said it. Hello? Yes, I believe that. But girl, you can't get... that. Andy ain't my boss. <laughs> And the your boss. So you get online and then it's like, Nene, you got fired. Let me tell y'all something. One thing I have realized, you can tell the girls who really get fired, pushed out the door versus the girls that don't. Nene Leaks was pushed out the door. Monique Samuels, even though she didn't, she wasn't fired, her husband made her quit the show. You can always tell the girls who didn't willingly quit on their own. Like Monique didn't willingly quit. She's still talking about the show to this day. Girl, if you really was wash your hands and was done with it, we wouldn't even hear nothing about you in that show. Nene Leaks, you was pushed out the door. That's why you're still talking about it. It's just, I, I just, I, I, I just, Nene, I just don't think that Nene's situation falls under Nene not being employed with Bravo because she's a woman or because she's black. I think Nene is not employed with Bravo because Nene was doing a piss poor job at her job, half ass showing to work. Her attitude was fucked up. You're cursing out producers when it's time for you to come to work and do what we 
what you signed up to do, which was entertain these people. Your ass want to close your laptop, girl, want to call, push your phone. You're sitting at the reunions on the couch, half ass opening your mouth. Girl, no one, no one. And if you do, you a fucking fool and I will come work for you. If you're going to keep, y'all say Nene make $2 million every season. Would you keep giving a bitch $2 million who, who wasn't doing her work? You can say what the fuck you want to say about Kenya. You can say what the fuck you want to say about Portia and all. Baby, Kenya come to work every motherfucking season. It's a reason why she trends every Sunday night. So you can bring up Kenya all you want to, but Kenya come to work. Kenya, Kenya earns her check and then some. Nene thought that she could just get by by doing one-liners. Don't get it. This is the thing. Nene going to be the HBIC. Nene, well, after, after New York. But Nene was the head girl at Bravo. Nene was the face of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Nene was one of the faces of reality TV. We can give Nene her dues. We can give Nene her flowers. But at the end of the day, girl, we can also be honest and say, girl, Nene, you stopped showing up to work about five years ago. You really thought because you were Nene Leaks that that just was enough. At some point, no one is just going to keep handing you a $2 million check or a $1 million check or a $1.5 or whatever Nene was making just to hand you a check just because, oh, I'm Nene Leaks and I did what I was supposed to do for the first five or six years. No, but you're going to keep earning this $2 million check. Everybody else is. That's just how I think. That's just how I. This is how I look at it. Um, hopefully, Nene. You know, it's just it's Nene, Nene. Girl, it's not looking good for you, girl. Every time I look up, girl, you taking the L. Now today, I forgot to say this part. Today, she tweeted out this. <clears throat> for all of you asking, emailing inboxing, blogging, reporting, etc. The only statement I have. My team did not let me go. No further statements at this time. She tweeted on Tuesday, according to page six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 it don't, it don't have nothing to do with me not liking Nene or Nene getting on my nerve. It has to do with what I saw on TV. Nene was Nene. Nene was a horrible employee. Nene, if that would have been anybody else, girl, please. Nene made it this far because she was Nene Leaks. But at some point, even the biggest stars, bitch, you can be replaced too. And I think that's the thing that everybody needs to understand. Girl, there are 50 million Nene Leaks out there, believe it or not. You know how many people will sit in front of my face and tell me that there will never be like there will never be another black president, which I think is a slap to other black people because y'all do y'all really believe that? <laughs> I'm I was about to go down a rabbit hole. For y'all to think that Barack Obama is the only qualified black man that can run this country is just like a slap in the face of other black people. For y'all to think that Nene Leaks is the only person that can get on TV and curse a bitch out of have one liners, bitch. I watch people videos every day that could that could hang with Nene Leaks. I watch people who are more entertaining than Nene Leaks on YouTube, quiet and discount. Like, we are all replaceable. Stop thinking that you're irreplaceable because you're not. And I think that was Nene's problem. She thought that she was irreplaceable and no, and, and no what happened to her. And if you go back and watch it, my videos, especially, I see be like, girl, Nene about to, about to be out the door. If I'm, I finally reached a point where I was like, you know what? They're not going to let Nene go because she's Nene. I started saying that, and I think that Nene started to started to believe that too. Oh, girl, I'm good. They ain't gonna let me go. I'm Nene. Until they let until, until either they push your ass out the door or whatever, whatever it is, it ain't it wasn't as simple as Nene just quitting. Because if it was, bitch, you wouldn't have all this goddamn stress in your chest. If Nene if Nene, if Nene walked away on her own, it was still it would not be this. That's what's what's going on. Nene, you chose to walk away from Bravo. That's what you said. Bravo didn't fire you. Then you come back and start calling one of your bosses a cokehead and a racist. Excuse me. And then you go on Tamron Hall. Like, what, what do you want from these people? 
Do you want a job? Because you said you had a job, you didn't get fired. So what is it? Are you not receiving the pay you were supposed to receive? You shouldn't have received the pay you were supposed to receive because, bitch, you ain't been doing shit. You haven't. And anybody who has watched Real Housewives of Atlanta know that I am telling the truth. Nene does not carry her weight on the show. Not anymore. She doesn't. Kenya does. Portia does. Candy does. Candy will go get her mama and her husband to argue to make sure that she got some camera. It's going to be some shit going on over there in, in, in that circle. Like I said, Marlo done turned her whole daughter to a fucking... Mar I mean, I'm Marlo. Cynthia got her whole uh, daughter eating pussy. <laughs> the girls gonna earn their checks. And Nene could have... Nene could have been on the show. Nene really has a lot, had a lot going on that she could have talked about. From that open relationship with Greg to that bar friend she supposedly had in D.C. named Rodney... Girl to girl, Bryson, whoever her son name is in the baby mama drama. Nene had a lot going on that she could have did. It's like, but Nene just felt like, girl, I'm good enough with me and Greg. Don't nobody want to hear Greg sounding like he reading Pimp Chronicles. Hello? And don't nobody want to hear you say one-liners all day. It's cute. We always going to say Nene one-liners. Hello? But at some point, it's not enough when you handing out a $2 million check to a bitch and all she thinks she can do is say a couple of one-liners and shoot a scene with her husband who got the hole on the goddamn rail and to walk up the goddamn stairs. Girl, no. No. At this point, bitch, you're pretty much a friend of the show. And if you go back and hear what I said last year, I said Nene is a friend of the show. They just gave Nene, they just let Nene keep her peach. But Nene was a friend last year. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done talking about Lanithia Elise, girl. This is another L for Lanithia Elise, girl. She needs to learn. I don't know what she gonna do, girl. It's another bitch out there who waiting. Girl, let, 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 me, let, let me tell y'all something. And I really do mean this. To me, even though I know that being on reality TV is stressful as fuck. I've heard people say it. I believe it when they say it. I've never done reality TV, but I can definitely believe that doing a reality TV show can be stressful as fuck. But I think you're compensated for that stress. A lot of these people would not be living the lifestyles that they lived without these good old Bravo checks. Or hell, even some of these small VH1 checks. Girl, Nene Lee's going to have to start her OnlyFans page because all the other girls on VH1 got OnlyFans pages. But... The thing is, do you know how simple you have to be in order to lose what y'all said Nene was getting was a $2 million bag? Nene, you ain't, you, the girls on Bravo, they don't have to fight. If they fight, it's because ghetto Porsche fighting. Hello? <laughs> Why you gotta be back at <laughs> It's because Portia get her, you know, Portia like to fight. But the girls on Bravo, they don't have to fight. They literally, all they have to do is just go out to dinner, go on a girl's trip, go out to dinner, go have an event, go to somebody's house. Girl, the girls at VH1, them girls is hopping over cars, girl, running in circles, behind chasing after somebody, getting bottles thrown at their head, getting their ponytails snatched, girl, getting hit in the face, getting drinks thrown in their goddamn eyeballs, getting vodka thrown in their god girl, like the girls on VH1 is going through it for pennies. The bitches at Bravo living good and eating good. And y'all ain't even doing shit compared to the bitches at VH1. So I don't feel sorry for Nene for losing that bag, bitch. Sign me up. Well, y'all, if y'all want some recommendations, I can give y'all some recommendations, bravo. It's a couple of bitches I know that could take Nene's spot. I'm gone. Bye, y'all.